So today we'll be showing a demonstration of an NXP LS1012A acting as an edge service gateway for, for Microsoft Azure uh, containers. So what we'll show are two scenarios. The first will be a live downloaded provisioning of a temperature sensor container. And the second will involve showing uh, uh, use of a piece of embedded security uh, capabilities on the microprocessor itself, which we're using to monitor the integrity of the operating system within the, within the Docker container. So the first thing we'll show is actually notice that the temperatures are actually moving. Put my finger on the sensor for a second. We have a live connection to the back end, so the temperature should change. Notice that there was a change in the graph. I'll take my finger away, and the temperature will now drop down again. So first scenario we'll run is actually the provisioning and downloading of the container. This starts, I have a button that I'm going to press, and it will clear out the current containers. You'll notice a message appear on the LCD that is resetting the containers. As it goes through each of the various phases of stopping and clearing the containers, it will then proceed to provisioning phases and ultimately downloading and starting the microservice. So you'll notice what's happened is we're no longer receiving temperature readings. I'll reset the microcontroller. So it's no longer in an authenticated state. And this is now launching the edge service, so setting, basically setting the board up live. In a moment, we'll see it start to uh, we'll start to deploy the edge service. This takes roughly two minutes for the full procedure to take place. So we're doing a download from the back end system. So it's now receiving the provisioning, the configuration for the container that we're going to retrieve, and this will establish the real, their real time transport sensor information off of the microcontroller to the back end. So the system's now changed, it's now changed state, and we're actually retrieving the edge service container uh, for, the, for the microservice, which will send authenticated temperature readings from the sensor to the back end. So actually the provisioning is now completed. You'll notice that the microcontroller is going through its authentication process. So within a moment or so, we'll see temperatures start to appear on the sensor up here on the top on the screen. changing in real time. And this is live from the floor in Barcelona. So next thing I'll do is actually show the runtime integrity checker. So by pressing the red button, we'll inject malware into the Linux kernel from within the Docker container. So making the point that we're monitoring the contents of the container from the underlying operating system environment. Hardware mechanisms embedded on the microprocessor have basically taken control and they're now restarting the system. Wait a moment and we'll restart, restart the provisioning. Now we're back to the beginning. Go ahead. 